Welcome to the hashtag fourth art Saturday video hop and check out all the amazing artists down below. Their videos are linked down below. Uh, so I am creating an ab simple abstract mixed media background with an abstract portrait. Uh, so far I used a scraper where you can use an old credit card. I'm using a bowl scraper for scraping on my acrylic paint background in a neutral color. And I left the, the edges of the gray paint uneven on purpose. Okay, step two is choosing three or more stencils, and I'm using a makeup sponge to um, push the paint through the stencil, um, the acrylic paint. And I've chosen a color scheme of cool colors. Of uh, That's gre greens, blues, and purples. Uh, it depends what color scheme you'd like. Neutrals, uh, maybe all neutrals, maybe all warm colors, which would be reds, oranges, and yellows, and pinks. Uh, next step is um, using an ink spray. So I'm spraying it on because I'd like to create drips and I move my paper around to help create the drips. And if you like what you see so far, please consider subscribing and giving a thumbs up. And I'm just moving my paper around to help control the drips. And I like that drip design. And next I'm using soft pastel pencils because I'm going to start drawing the abstract face. And I did turn the paper around because I decided I liked it upside down and where I, I wanted to put the face in the bottom right corner and I added more stencil designs right where I knew I was going to put the face. And I'm using a white soft pastel, um, I'm just using color white right now to draw that cross design. That cross design are the guidelines and I'm not doing the outline of the face yet. We're gonna do that later. So as you can see, I'm to, just to break down the eye shapes in a really basic shape, uh, I, I'm gonna describe them as football shapes and you can see how I have drawn the eyes on the guideline with an arch, like a curved arch above it and a curved arch going up upwards and how it meets on the guideline. So for the rest of the facial facial features, just uh, please watch and um, you can see um, how I do it as shown. Now this is an abstract face, so you can take liberties with proportions. It's, it doesn't have to, it's not gonna, it doesn't have, I mean, this is not a realistic face. Um, you'll see I'm gonna take liberties with the colors. Oh, well, as you can see already, I mean, the back, the face already has that design on it, that stencil design on it, it's already abstract. Okay, in this step, I have chosen a warm color, and it's really, it's a warm, bright, and a light color, which really pops from, and I chose that on purpose to really make the eyes pop from, pop away from the background, which the background is all neutrals and cool colors, so this yellowish, yellow green really pops, and of course, uh, People don't really have those color eyes, so that is a that is a liberty I took um, in the abstract style, and then coloring in the pupils in with black. Now is drawing the outline of the face lightly with, a, with white.
And now the guidelines can be wiped away, actually only just with your finger, but you could also use a tissue or, a, or a, uh, lightly with an eraser. I'm still working on parts of the eye, like you see the eyelids. Now again, you can take liberties with the shape of the mouth, with the colors of the mouth. It doesn't have to be like realistic red or pink. You could make blue lips, purple lips. But as you can see, I'm using, these are warm colors and they're really popping off of the background, which is all cool colors and the neutral gray. Yeah, there is a dark line where the two lips meet. Well, and you could smudge the line so it's not a perfect line. Highlights on the bottom lip. Now using soft pastel mini sticks. I'm using a dark color, it's actually a dark blue, for shading around the face because right now I feel the face looks like it's sitting on the surface and I want it to, I want to give it depth. So the shading around the face is giving it, making like the face is sinking into the background and which creates depth. And I'm not worrying about hair. Uh, this is an abstract face. Okay, and then adding embellishment wherever you think, wherever you think, whatever kind of embellishment you might want to add. I just thought some circle patterns would look nice right there. I encourage you to think of other embellishments you might want to add to the design. And for anyone that's done abstract art, I'd love to hear in the comments down below what's been, um, what kind of abstract art have you done and uh, what do you think about abstract art? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. 